Hey, John, for vSAN networking, you know, we get a lot of questions about uh, using legs to improve performance or availability. Uh, can they be used and should they be used for vSAN? Can they be used? Yes. Should they be used? That's a maybe. Um, commonly, when I talk to customers about, you know, what do they see as the benefit of, of forming um, a lag and uh, using LACP and also, this goes into if you're talking to your networking people, they use all kinds of other words for this. They might say bonding, uh, they might say teaming, depending on which whether they're a part of the Cisco or the HP switching tribe. Sometimes the uh, the meaning of these words unfortunately reverses. Um, but with regards to this, um, use, using this link aggregation, there's some complexity you need to be aware of. So one is this is going to require configuration on the switch. Uh, you're going to have to configure both the switch and the host for this, and you're going to have to have some communication with your networking team. If they're very responsive or you're the same person, maybe that's easy. You can just go configure both sides um, and troubleshoot both sides. If your networking team's the kind of people who get back to you with a request and, you know, in six months, uh, maybe we go with a method that doesn't require active switch configuration beyond the, you know, assigning of aliens. Um, do note that if you do use this, uh, please, please do not use the default IP hash that comes on the standard switch. Um, it's not very good at balancing um, traffic usage. One plus one will not equal two necessarily. Um, if you are going to go down this path, try to use the most advanced hash that's going to be supported on the VDS with the lag setup. So that'll be something like a source and destination port being mixed in there to try to give you a better blend of traffic usage. Um, it's a common myth that this is required for fast port failover. Uh, that's completely not true. Rapid spanning tree, per VLAN, rapid per VLAN spanning tree, uh, MST have been around for a very long time. If you are seeing that a port goes down or a cable fails and it takes 45 seconds to throw traffic to the other port, uh, something horribly wrong has gone with your switch configurations and you probably have a spanning tree root bridge war between two switches. So uh, please, please go talk to the networking team to fix that. And don't think that this is the only way to get a, a fast path failover. Okay. So uh, it is not something unless you wanted to uh, have a, um, you, you know, an ongoing relationship with your networking team, it's not necessarily something that you would choose by default then for a VSAN environment. Yeah, and, and do note you're potentially, in order to do um, lag to multiple different switches or chassis, you're potentially looking at using technology like MLAG, and um, there be dragons in terms of weird bugs, or you're going to potentially have to stack your switches, um, which stack switches, I feel like are a little like SQL 2005 clusters. They cause more outages than they, you know, than they ever prevented or solved. Um, this is just an area where people go in with the noblest of intentions and then they eventually are like, you know what, that active standby sounds real nice about now.